Hello, English learners. Welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we have a very special guest in our studio, Dani. Hi, everyone. Dani. Dani is part of our English Pod team, and today she's gonna help us with this Chinese New Year's lesson. It's an intermediate lesson, but it has a lot of cultural aspects about Chinese New Year. So that's what Dani's gonna help us out with today. Yes, today we're going to learn a little bit about Chinese New Year in English, and we're also going to learn. Some language for describing things that we're excited about. Okay, yeah, I'm excited to hear the show. Okay, so let's listen to the dialogue now, and then when we come back, we'll explain everything. I'm so excited about Chinese New Year. When do I get to visit Grandma? Grandma makes the best dumplings in the world. Haha, <laughs> right. Sounds to me like you're more excited about dumplings than seeing your grandma. Of course, I miss Grandma too. I bet she's gonna teach me how to play mahjong. Hey, Dad, are you gonna buy me firecrackers this year? We're gonna have the best fireworks. I'm really looking forward to lighting them. Son, firecrackers aren't toys. They are dangerous. No, fireworks are awesome. Wow, don't you remember? Last year, when I set up the firecrackers, you covered both your ears and hid behind your mother. Dad, I was scared because I saw a bug. That's all. <laughs> Really? Oh, and I can't wait to watch the dragon dance. Dad, can I sit on your shoulders this time? Hey, I offered last year. Well, I. Anyways, I was just thinking of the red envelopes. I want to make a list of all the things I'm gonna buy with my red envelope money. I can't wait. I'm gonna have so much money. Mom, can I get a pen and a piece of paper? I want a new transformer. No, two transformers. Optimus Prime, Wheeljack. I'll get a PSP game. Ha ha. Oh, Okay, so Chinese New Year. A lot of exciting vocabulary here.、Mm-hmm. Right. Before we get into describing it, let's look at the vocabulary that we saw in language takeaway. Language takeaway. The first word on language takeaway: dumplings. 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 Well, in Chinese, we call it shui jiao,、mm-hmm. um, and it's a very traditional Chinese food, and it's getting very famous now. Yes, so it's basically small pieces of dough with、mm-hmm. maybe some meat or some vegetables inside, and then they are boiled, usually in a soup. In a soup,、mm-hmm. but you can also have fried dumplings. Yeah, yeah, that's which right. Which are really yeah. good. Yeah. So if you know Italian food, they're really similar to a tortellini. Ah, exactly.、Mm-hmm. Ah. Or in Latin America, it's very similar to maybe an empanada. All、it's、right. Like a small little empanada. Okay, <laughs> Marco. What's our next word? All right, our next word: firecrackers. 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 This is a firecracker. Firecrackers are so common in China. We use it all the time in all occasions. Yep. And especially on the New Year's Eve.、Mm-hmm. Um, Traditionally, people use it to scare off the evil, evil spirits, the evil spirits.、So、yeah. Okay. So on Chinese New Year, there are millions of firecrackers. Millions of firecrackers. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Now there are also a lot of fireworks. 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 So fireworks are similar to firecrackers, but they have lots of light. A light. Yeah. They they go up in the air and explode, and you see lots of nice beautiful colors. colors yeah. yeah. Very popular in Fourth of July in the United States or New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fireworks. Okay. Now let's look at our last word. Set off. Set off. Set off. Set off. Set off. So this is the verb you would use with firecrackers. Yeah, it means like explode the firecracker. Right, set off the firecracker. Set off the bomb. Set off fireworks. Well, let's listen to our dialogue a second time, and this time it'll be a little bit slower so that you can understand the language a bit better. I'm so excited about Chinese New Year. When do I get to visit Grandma? Grandma makes the best dumplings in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Sounds to me like you are more excited about dumplings than seeing your grandma. Of course, I miss grandma too. I bet she's gonna teach me how to play mahjong. Hey, Dad, are you gonna buy me firecrackers this year? 
We're going to have the best fireworks. I'm really looking forward to lighting them. Son, firecrackers aren't toys. They're dangerous. No, fireworks are awesome. Whoa! Don't you remember last year when I set off the firecrackers? You covered both your ears and hid behind your mother. Dad, I was scared because, because I saw a bug. That's all. Ha <laughs> ha! Really? Oh, and I can't wait to watch the dragon dance. Dad, can I sit on your shoulders this time? Hey, I offered last year. Well, I. Anyways, I was just thinking of the red envelopes. I want to make a list of all the things I'm gonna buy with my red envelope money. I can't wait. I'm gonna have so much money. Mom, can I get a pen and a piece of paper? I want a new transformer. No, two transformers. The Optimus Prime and maybe the Wheeljack. I'll get a PSP game. Ha <laughs> ha! And I'll buy the entire class lunch at McDonald's. Okay, so we saw some really great phrases of describing excitement,、mm -hmm. right? So let's start with fluency builder. Fluency builder. Well, we have four phrases for you today, and the first one is "I'm so excited about." I'm so excited about. I'm so excited about. So when you say "I'm so excited," it means that you are like really happy that something is going to happen. Yeah, so happy you can't relax. <laughs> right. So you could say. I'm so excited about our vacation next month. I'm so excited about opening all my presents. Exactly. So excited. Now we also saw another really great word, very similar to "I'm so excited." Yeah. I'm really looking forward to. 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 So this is a little bit less than excited, right? A bit less strong. Right. Yeah. So you would say, "Oh, I'm really looking forward to meeting your." New girlfriend, or you can say, "I'm really looking forward to seeing that movie." Exactly.、Mm -hmm. So it means you're a little bit excited, but not so excited. Yeah, you're happy about something that's going to happen in the future. Now let's look at our next phrase, and it's very similar to excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So this is very, very similar to "I'm so excited." Yes, when you're so excited for something, you can't wait for right. it. Right. Let's listen to some more examples of "I can't wait." Example one. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you. Example two. Mmm, smells delicious. I can't wait for dinner. Example three. I can't wait to open my presents. So we can use it again the same way. I can't wait to go on vacation next month. I can't wait to open all my presents. Exactly. Now our last phrase. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. B e t. Bet. Bet. So when you say I bet, it means that. You're pretty sure about something.、Mm -hmm. You predict it will happen. Right. So let's listen to some more examples of "I bet." Example one. I bet I'm going to get so much money for Chinese New Year. Example two. Robert Slade. Where do you think he is? I bet he's stuck in traffic. Example three. I bet the boss is gonna give us a big bonus this year. Well, I guess we're ready to listen to our dialogue for the third time, and then when we come back, Danny's gonna tell us all about Chinese New Year. I'm so excited about Chinese New Year. When do I get to visit Grandma? Grandma makes the best dumplings in the world. Haha, <laughs> right. Sounds to me like you're more excited about dumplings than seeing your grandma. Of course, I miss grandma too. I bet she's gonna teach me how to play mahjong. Hey, Dad, are you gonna buy me firecrackers this year? We're gonna have the best fireworks. I'm really looking forward to lighting them. Son, firecrackers aren't toys. They are dangerous. No, fireworks are awesome. Wow, don't you remember? 
Last year, when I set up the firecrackers, you covered both your ears and hid behind your mother. Dad, I was scared because I saw a bug. That's all. <laughs> really? Oh, and I can't wait to watch the dragon dance. Dad, can I sit on your shoulders this time? Hey, I offered last year. Well, I. Anyways, I was just thinking of the red envelopes. I want to make a list of all the things I'm gonna buy with my red envelope money. I can't wait. I'm gonna have so much money. Mom, can I get a pen and a piece of paper? I want a new transformer. No, two transformers. Optimus Prime, Wheeljack. I'll get a PSP game. <laughs> I'll buy a new pen. So, Danny, what are these red packets of money about? So, in Chinese, we call it hong bao, and、yeah. it's basically a bag full of money. Why、wow. do you get money? As a gift. As a gift. Yeah. Wow. The children get it though. Only children get it. Wow.、But、if you're a university student and you haven't got a job yet, then you can still ask for hong bao from your parents、really? or your relatives. So, is there some meaning to this gift of money? Well, it is believed that children have to put these red envelopes under their pillow、yep. on New Year's Eve、yep. to scare away the evil spirits.、Oh, Again,、okay. like the firecrackers. Again, evil spirits. A lot of evil spirits in China. <laughs> <laughs> So, Danny, how much money would a kid get for Chinese New Year? Well, when I was little,、yep. the best year I got was three thousand RMB, which is like almost five hundred dollars. Wow! Almost yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was so rich at the time. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Amazing. Uh huh. What about this game mahjong? Mahjong. Mahjong. Have you played it? No. No. Um. <laughs> again, again, it's very traditional Chinese game and.、Mm-hmm. Uh, you will see senior peoples always gathering along the table. So old people. Old people. Yeah. So it's like a board game, kind of like chess. It's kind of like chess, but they have like special, specially made chess.、Uh, it's very different. Okay. So I want to know more about these,、uh, the fireworks and firecrackers on Chinese New Year. Okay. Usually we buy firecrackers. Yep. I believe firework fireworks are more expensive,、mm-hmm. so we play firecrackers pao zhang. Uh, and then usually we do it、uh, right after the midnight,、mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so twelve o'clock. Yep.、And、it's very loud, and、yep. um, say for example, I personally don't even dare to stay close when they set off the firecrackers because、yep. it's just way too loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's re- and everyone starts to、yeah. light them, so it's like no, it's amazing. The I, city. Um, I've I've seen Chinese New Year three times in China, and、mm-hmm. each time I've just been amazed. Like. <laughs> It's so so cool and so noisy and so awesome. I mean, you've got to visit China to see this. Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool festival. Yeah, and definitely playing with firecrackers is always fun. So yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Well, everyone,、uh, we've just learned about how New Year's is celebrated in China, and we want to know how do you celebrate New Year's in your country? Exactly. How do you welcome the New Year? How do you scare away evil spirits? <laughs>、yeah. Right. Yeah. So come to our website at EnglishPod.com and leave us your comments. That's right, Danny, Erica, and I will be there to answer all your questions. So be sure to send us some comments. Well, everyone, thanks for listening, and until next time, bye bye bye. The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Very happy about something. Excited. Small lump of dough that is steamed or boiled. Traditional Chinese New Year food. Dumpling. A cylinder filled with explosive substance that makes loud noise when it explodes. Firecracker. Excited and happy about something that will happen in the future. Look forward to. Eager or excited about doing something or for something to begin. Can't wait. Cause something to explode. Set off. Chinese New Year based on the cycles of the moon. Lunar New Year. Chinese New Year. Spring Festival. 
a calendar based on the cycles and phases of the moon. Lunar calendar. Very excited about something that will happen in the future. Can hardly wait. Not happy or willing to wait for something. Impatient. Let's try that faster. Small lump of dough that is steamed or boiled. Traditional Chinese New Year food. Dumpling. Excited and happy about something that will happen in the future. Look forward to. A cylinder filled with explosive substance that makes loud noise when it explodes. Firecracker. Chinese New Year based on the cycles of the moon. Lunar New Year. Very happy about something. Excited. Very excited about something that will happen in the future. Can hardly wait. Not happy or willing to wait for something. Impatient. Eager or excited about doing something or for something to begin. Can't wait. Chinese New Year. Spring Festival. A calendar based on the cycles and phases of the moon. Lunar calendar. Cause something to explode. Set off. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Excited. I'm so excited about my trip to Europe next month. Excited. Johnny is going to be so excited when he receives this gift. Excited. Chelsea's so excited about her first baby. I bet I'm going to get so much money for Chinese New Year. I bet the boss is going to give us a big bonus this year. I bet I'm going to have a great time tonight. Dumpling. My grandma taught me how to make dumplings. Dumpling. Have you tried the dumplings? They're amazing. Dumpling. Do you want to have some dumplings for lunch? Firecracker. Are you going to buy firecrackers for Chinese New Year? Firecracker. There are firecrackers everywhere on New Year's Eve. Firecracker. I don't like firecrackers. They're too loud. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you. Mmm, smells delicious. I can't wait for dinner. I can't wait to open my presents. Look forward to. I'm really looking forward to Spring Festival. Look forward to. I'm looking forward to meeting with you tonight. Look forward to. I have been looking forward to hearing from you. Set off. Be careful while I set off the firecracker. Set off. The police are searching for the person who set off the explosion last night. Set off. The smoke set off the building's fire alarm.